A San Antonio man says his father was denied a prescription from HEB's pharmacy. Less than a week later, he died of a heart attack. According to our news partners in San Antonio, Jared Allen had a prescription for a blood thinner medication. When he went to try to fill it at an HEB pharmacy, he was told to go home and wait for the medicine to arrive by mail. His son now says missing out on that life-saving medication is what caused his father's death. Allen's family is seeking $250,000 for damages, including medical and funeral expenses. Should the pharmacy be held liable for that wrongful death? The answer is I, I don't think so. The pharmacy does not have any responsibility to dispense and provide drugs as soon as somebody provides a prescription. Yes, those drugs are obviously important and can be life-saving, but if they don't have them on the shelf to be able to provide them instantaneously, that should not make them liable for anything that happens thereafter. They do not have any duty to provide the drugs on your prescription you know, immediately or at all. They can refuse to, to provide any services to a customer. So I would say that there's very little, if any, liability there for the pharmacy. Is it sad? Yeah. Is it tragic? Of course. But that, that customer could have gone to another pharmacy. You know, there's any number of reasons and, and solutions to that problem. And it's also not necessarily uh, certain that it was the absence of that, that medication that caused the death. Um, that death could have been coming anyway, regardless of the medication. That's something for a doctor or coroner to figure out, actually. Um, is it probably a squeeze for a little bit of money? Yeah, I think that that was gambling and trying to, you know, uh, and 250 grand, honestly, for a wrongful death. That's kind of a low amount. That, that to me, it says you ain't that serious. I am looking for negligence here on the part of the, the, the pharmacy. And honestly, I'm just not seeing it. Uh, I don't see the duty. To, to provide those things and you know the, the customer had other options. So I'm really not seeing a negligence claim here. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And while you're down there, please like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.